Good morning, welcome to Greenwood Bonsai Studio here today in Nottingham. We're just coming into an early spring here in the UK. Daytime temperatures are like 10 degrees, sort of 6 degrees at night. Uh, we've had a few sunny, warm days. And the tree I've got here is a Trident Maple. It's an older uh, tree that we sold to a customer about 30 years ago. And uh, it's had a few ups and downs and it's recently been brought back in and uh, I'm just going to do a video for you to sort of get it back on track. If you have a look at the growth on this trident, it's just coming into leaf. The buds are just about to just start to split in, just starting to extend leaf out. So now's a good time of year for me to see which bits are alive, which bits are dead. Allows me to trim uh, and know, knowing which bits we want to keep. So the tree is just in a plastic training pot. And over recent years, it's lost a few branches. It's unfortunately lost a few branches just here and here, and a couple, another one here and here, another one here and here. It's got a section at the back. This is collecting water. That one's carving away to some extent so that it will drain a bit better. So it's just in the studio for a bit of a tidy up to try and get it back on track. It's not been trimmed very hard at the apex of the tree, so we've got a lot of growth up at the apex. And I think because it's been putting all the energy there, that's why some of these other branches have suffered a little bit. So we're not going to do a full trim and a style on it today, but what we are going to do, we're going to address several things. We're going to do a removal of any dead wood on the tree. So any stubs and little branches, you know, these sort of bits, we're going to take all those off take them off, put wound sealant on them. So take the dead bits off. We're going to shorten back some of these branches a little bit. We might take out a few conflicting branches at the top of the tree. We're going to carve some of that crate out on the back there. We're also going to try and find the base of the trunk, take these weeds out, try and find some surface roots. And finally, we're going to get it potted into a better pot and in better compost. Yeah. So I'll talk your way through it and talk away through it and show you what we're going to do. So first of all, let's start. Now the front of this tree, I had a little look at it earlier and it's a bit of a peculiar one because you're looking at the front towards you. This branch here is awkward because it's coming straight out towards the viewer and it's blocking this lower section of the trunk. Ordinarily, I'd make the decision to remove that. Now, if I remove this branch, then this branch here looks opposite that branch there. So by removing this at the moment, this becomes more of a nuisance. Now, I could remove this, but then I have to remove this and remove this one. So on second thought, I've decided at the moment not to remove this, purely just take the dead out and a few of the crossing bits up at the apex and because the trees struggled a little bit I want to be sure that all these are leafing healthy and vigorous so I don't want to be in a rush to do anything with it although having said that as per usual with my videos I'm going to get a fair bit of work done while I'm here today so large concave pruner in on these branches just taking off all these big stubs where it hasn't been pruned properly in here look this stub and this just to neaten it all up as we go round the tree. So another one here that's got a live bit on it. Let's just snip that off. Little stub here. Just going round, neatening it up. It doesn't look like it's been done for a number of years. There's a dead branch up in here. These stubs here can come off. So they're up sort of a size that will come off of that concave pruner. And in here. This larger, larger branch here that I want a little chainsaw on it. Just take that across at this point. Like so, another one down here. Same with that. Few on these branches. 
trying to take out a little bit of lumpiness on some of these twigs just neaten it all up get it repotted give it some feed this year see how it responds to it and hopefully then going forward we can really get some growth on this and get a few more a few more branches a few more shoots on it this one here you can see this branch coming out of the ugly stub here so let's just go in just need to that back like so around here this one all the same sort of thing just taking these stubs back just a job that probably should have been done years ago but for some reason on this tree they've manifested themselves they just seem to get more looks like you've got a few more every year let's just get in and sort those out that's a bit heavy this a bit heavy that one in there can come back So I've been tidying up these cuts and lumps on the trident. You can see where we've taken all these sections off. So the next thing, I'm going to carve away this little knuckle here. When you look from the front, there's this sort of bump here that we don't want. I'm going to try and take that off. And then also do a little bit of carving on this section back in here. So. As you can see here on this shoulder here, as it came across, it's creating like a bucket in here. So this is getting wet, filling up with, uh, you know, with water. It's been rotting this wood here, so this is now just rotten. But all this sort of wood here, so that's not going to take much. Not going to put much of a fight against this. I'm going to try and chamfer this out here, so this can naturally drain out a little bit more in the future. Hopefully this won't be so bad in future because as that fills the water it won't sit, it will just drain through out there a little bit more and be less of an issue. There's another hole in the trunk there in future, might be able to carve all the way through there. That's a little bit wet. Might put something in there just to make that a little bit better. So I'll have a little bit of a poke around in here, just take this little shoulder off. Next thing with this really is try and get it out of this pot, see if we can't um, if we can't get it potted or see what the roots are like. So uh, there'll be a bit of a fight to do that. Let's just have a quick a quick look and see see what it's like. It looks like there's a couple of wires holding it in. Yeah, one here look. Just the same with working with a smaller tree. Just snip those wires underneath the pot. We've got some leverage to get the tree out. Okay, so I've got it out of the pot. Next thing is with a root hook, 
to try and comb away some of this soil from around the edge. Quite a granular soil, make sure that it's in all sorts of weeds and, and things growing in here. Let's get some scissors to go through those. Not quite sure how long it's been in there for, probably only been in there for probably a couple of years judging by that root growth but obviously in the past it's been a more majestic tree and it's still a nice tree now and it's deserving of something better than a sort of plastic bonsai pot it was in so I want to get it, look at this here, there's roots under here, there's weeds, soil, you take that away look Look how much surface root is under that bit. Just look at that bit there. If I give it a brush off. All this section that's dark, that was all hidden. Hidden before under all those weeds. So we're finding uh, better roots, which makes it a better tree. More worthwhile, so there's quite some nice roots that we found just there. See what happens around this side. As it flares out here, we might find a bit more continuation of root just here. A bit more to uncover. Get rid of this section. A few weeds. This root. one pass all the way around the tree at this sort of level. Next thing, I'm going to just tilt it over and just cut through some of these roots. The quickest way to do this is go through them with a saw about this sort of level and I'll, if you use a blade that's too coarse you'll rip them too much and once it's too fine won't cut. I like to use this medium tooth blade for this sort of work and just take a slice off the bottom side like this and we'll spin it round like that and that saved me loads of time just to get the root ball down some of these roots that we don't need. Like that. Lock it back down. Edge of the table. Onto a turntable. And then just work my way around again. Just combing out the edge of the root wall. 
quite a daunting size tree for a lot of people that's the biggest tree and uh, a lot of people it's a two or three man tree I, if it's down to technique a lot of this sort of stuff but they'll need a hand to get it out of the pot once it's out of the pot this is easily done just by yourself it helps if you've got a table you can just comb it out off the edge of the table admittedly it's not the sort of thing you can do in the kitchen but in a studio or garage you can get this done just work your way around combing that out spin it around a bit more lift it on this side and we've got two or three pots I think we could put this into and a lot of them it, we're just going to wait and see how shallow the root wall is because it was in a very deep training pot before I did this work I wasn't sure whether I could get it into something shallow or you never know if there's a reason why something's in a deep training pot sometimes that's because there's a big knuckle of root or something and it therefore won't go into a won't go into a shallow training pot but pleasantly surprised by how shallow the root is on this tree so we've got a couple of different pots just going to bring them in in a minute and we'll have a look so a little bit more work on the roots we've got a little bit too much weight on this corner of the root ball i think we've got a little bit more we can take off this section that woody root can come off Very fast growers, the Trident Maples, very vigorous, put on an awful lot of root. So therefore, there's nothing wrong with taking this much, this much root off this tree. We're doing it at the right time of year. Give it the right aftercare. It won't be an issue at all. Okay, so welcome back and we're just working on this Trident Maple. We've took some dead stubs off it. We've got it out of the pot, it was just in this plastic training pot, you know in England these are like 40, 50 pounds, so it's like a 60, 70 dollar pot. The tree deserves a bit better. I had imagined putting it into one of these. I've got three or four of these pots in stock. It's a nice um, colour, the textured green will go nice with the tree. But with two reasons, I thought it's perhaps a little bit deep, a little bit heavy. And also with this having a much shallower root system than I than I first thought. I've also got this blue oval. I don't want to go too small on a pot because I want to grow the tree on for the next few years to develop the branches. So in this pot, I think this is going to be the favourite. It's a little bit low in this pot at the moment. It's just sit sitting down in the bottom of the pot. So it's going to be raised up with some uh, compost underneath it. And from where you're looking, that was the front of the tree before, wasn't it? Remember I said that this branch was coming out forward. The disadvantage with that is we've got quite a gap in here because it had lost a couple of branches. So what we're going to do with this, look, if you, from the front, I'm going to turn this. I'm guessing a little bit because I'm at the back of the tree, but we're going to turn it about to there. Is that about right, Mr. Cameraman? Yeah. So as we turn it to there, and this branch here starts to come into play. If I turn it back again, look, where was it before, about there, and you've got that gap and you can't see that branch. So we're going to just rotate it. Also, that makes this branch less offensive as well. So that's the sort of angle and position. So now we're going to whip it out of this pot, put some anchorage wires into the pot and some mesh, and then we can get it back in and we can do a final prune on branches once it's potted. Okay, so we've got the pot ready. Put some uh, two and a half mil anchorage wires in it. We've we'll put the mesh over the drainage holes, and we'll put some acadama in the bottom. We'll put a layer of this in to allow me to get the tree in at the right height. somewhere somewhere like that might do and then uh, a bit of acadama 
followed by a bit of tree. There we go. Right, so we talked about the front, wanting to have it right here towards me. Let's jostle it down onto the Akkad armor. Let's have a little look. Some branches. Let's have a little think while we've got it in there. That does bring that branch round to fill in more, which is what we wanted. I think we'll get it filled in at that. Turn it round so you can see. We've just got the right sort of position in the pot. There's a few roots at the back here. I just want a bit of a prune. But that's pretty pretty comfortable at that. Might be a little bit low on this front right hand side. Let's see if I can get a little bit more under here. Raise this section up. This section here was dropping down a little bit, so I think that's pretty good. Like that. Let's have a let's have a look. Just go around, adding the akadama in. Pop this size a tree like this. We'll use about looks like we're going to be using about two bags of akadama. I've got three bags in this bucket. As with anything, it's had a big, big price increase in the UK recently, so it's not the most cost-effective thing to sometimes use with big pots, but this tree is, is worth it. So we're going to use knee tackered armor in this case. And using a potting stick just to work it down around that root ball. On a smaller tree, you can just use a chopstick but on something this size something a bit bigger will work better just to work the way round coming around the back of the tree now go around again you can see the Akadama the soil level just dropping down as we do this procedure and again just push it off those surface roots. Once we're happy with it like that, let's get some pliers and uh, we'll bring this wire around here. We'll wire it in with a couple of anchor wires. So one here, just tie that off at the back. <coughs> Snip that off a minute. Back over to this one. That's going to come across here. Going to meet its counterpart here. And then just nip that up as well. Nice and tight. one just push the ends down into the, into the pot so a bit more akadama around here now we're going to have a look at the branches there's still a few little bits we need to trim off so we'll have a little little look at that come round your side for that bit of pruning and let's have a look so here we said this branch was cutting across a bit and it is so I'm just going to just shorten it back just a little bit just to get get it under control some of these long ones that are just starting to bud we're just going to nip those back I'm not too worried about the shape some of the branches that are going to make this tree in future aren't even on the tree at the moment so 
for the ones that are on it if we can just get those a little bit more under control as we come up here to the top of the tree just shortening back this is a bit stubby this bit here at the tip's a bit long I could shorten this section back into here there's a stub just there and then this bit's a bit long here that's a bit thick there you see from the side this is a bit thick this is a bit long shorten back some of these another bit here that's crossing over and that can be removed just shorten that apex back into here side we could shorten this back into here this is a bit thick we could take that front section there out that's going up a little bit too much back there and these can just be shortened back a few more bits up here in the top of the tree just crossing over the sections that can come out little stub wants to come off we missed it there's another one there a little bit here that's going into the back of the tree too much little dead stub that's a bit too long and then just nip these tips back here this is growing up too much shorten back these tips coming back to finer growth if, it, if it's there fit in here a bit too thick and clunky shorten this back turn it back round back round to the front let me just uh, just stand back a little bit oh I say I'm not going to trim it much and then uh, and then you see branches flying and coming off it This is growing up a little bit too much on this section. So I'm get rid of that. Just get that out from in the tree. This bit here. We have got quite a few sections in this top. It is a little bit heavy. Is there anything we can do to, to thin that out a little bit? But without it burning too many bridges. This right hand section here is quite straight and boring, so that's a candidate to be removed. This is too long, that is too straight. This one can come back, that's too chunky. This one here is a bit straight, I'll leave this for now. It's a bit straight in this section. That might be a candidate to be removed in future this one here and then this one behind it we could probably pull that down with a guy wire to here to fill in but I'm going to leave that for now because I want to see how it progresses over the next few few weeks through this next growing season there's one in there that's real difficult to get to and that little stub in here another one here in here. Should come 
coming to the end of it there. Tidying that up. Spin that round. So what we've tried to do with this tree today, you know, there will be more work happening on this tree in future years as it progresses, but it was a little bit, uh, it came to me, we sold it 30, 35 years ago. My father sold this to the original owner. A little bit maybe unloved in recent years. Just want to get it back on track, out of that training pot, into a nicer pot. It's more deserving of it. Into some decent soil, planted into neat Akadama. We've cut off some of the issues, the problems. We've altered the front of the tree a little bit. We've took all the dead stubs off it. We've carved away this section that was just holding and trapping water at the back. Next thing is to put some wound sealant on all of these cups and then it will go into just a unheated greenhouse for the next few weeks while it comes into leaf just to give it a little bit of shelter. It will be out on our bonsai benches here at the nursery this summer so any of you that are visiting us this summer you'll see this tree out. It's a quite impressive tree, it's, it's over a metre tall, quite a big tree to move around. So once we decide where we're going to display it at the nursery, it'll most likely stay there all summer. So if you pop up, give us a shout, ask us where it is, we'll point you in its direction. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates on this tree and on all the trees and projects that we've worked on recently. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.